Yeah, Talking Newspaper. What happened many over 30 years ago, a lady was down in Torquay and discovered that there was a Talking Newspaper in Torquay. And she immediately thought, why isn't the one in Salford? I know people that were there on the very first day where they had to stop the recording. It was in somebody's back bedroom, this in Weast. They had to stop the recording because the ice cream man was going by blaring his bells out, etc. But that was in the early days and we've moved on an awful lot since then. Up until uh, two years ago, everything was recorded to tape. Um, but now that we're, we record through a, a, pro a program called Newsbridge onto uh, MP3 digitally, we have the studio through this desk. It records to the program. It certainly cut out a lot of the, the work that mm -hmm. was involved with tape. This is the, the little speaker unit they get, and everybody gets one of these, on loan at no cost. When they first join, if you like, uh, somebody goes out and talks them through how to use this. Then, every week, a pouch arrives with their name on a label on the front. Inside the pouch is a memory stick. You'll notice on there, there's a little orange bumper. That's so they know which is left and which is right. That plugs in and immediately it starts playing. This week is Don Ranger and your technicians are Cheryl Dixon and Joseph Murphy. If you don't like this, you just press one of these little buttons at the bottom and it goes on to the next article. So as I said before, if you don't like sport or you think something's a bit not to your taste, you can just move on to the next article. As I say, when I first came, other than as a reader, I was amazed at the amount of work and technology that goes on in, in the other room there while all these things are being prepared. Now that everything is digital, we can upload it uh, to the, our website uh, and people can download, listen to it on the website and also download it as a podcast. How many subscribers, listeners do you have? Any idea? We have at the moment roughly about 250. Uh, it was over 400 at one time. And uh, I, always, I always like to think that wouldn't it be wonderful if we had none? Because that m would mean there were no blind people in the world, but that obviously that isn't going to happen. But one of the reasons that we've dropped from this um, 400 down to about 250 is medical technology. People are having cataract operations now and hey presto, it's all over, they don't need us. Uh, isn't that wonderful? I think it is anyway. That is, that's a, I'd never thought of that. It's... Yeah. Yeah. So, what can your readers listen to? Is it local news? It's very, very local news, news from the local newspaper. Um, very occasionally we'll, we'll dip into the Manchester Evening News, but it really is local stuff. People have said in the past, well, people can get local news off the radio. Yes, they can, but it's not as local as we do. People say how much they look forward to, um, to receiving our, our tape, I'm going to call it tape again, our recordings. Some of, the, some of these get sent to, to care homes and they all gather around and listen to them in unison as a group. Mm -hmm. Others go to individual people, you know, it's, it's, you know it's, it becomes part of their life. Final question Trevor, will you be in the future using the news from Salford Online? Well, we, f f funnily enough today, asked that question, could we do that? And we were told, yes, of course you can, so yes, we will be using it. Uh, we will be extracting articles from Salford Online as and when we think they're appropriate for our listeners. And if I could just mention that, over the years, people have said, oh, do they really want to know about the gloom and doom? Somebody's been attacked in a park and what have you. And we asked our li listeners and they said, we don't want to be wrapped in cotton wool. We want to know what's going on. So that's it.